Hello, Phil and that's Sarah. And uh, we're on SLC. Some of you may have seen us before. For those of you who haven't, or haven't, uh, some would say, we are uh, partners in uh, positive crime. Mmm, I like it. So PPIC -P -P instead of PIC. Pa partners in, well, PIPC. PIPC. Anyways. Um, partners in positive crime. You're right, right, sorry. Crime. I mean, we don't really do crime. I'd say that we are kind of like... We're not a, exactly rule yeah, breakers. We we're rule benders. We've been, we've been rules on occasion, when it, especially when it comes but to... you guys can't. Right. We're not condoning any sort of rule bending. Uh, especially when it, when it comes to what? Oh, especially when it comes to art. We bend the rules of what is possible, maybe through recovery and art together. Mm -hmm. uh, and we put on shows. We put on live shows. Uh, most of the participants are in recovery. And so when I say we bend the rules of recovery, I think what I'm saying is, is we don't, even though we come from 12-step backgrounds, we kind of bend what that looks like. And so we offer a stage for people in recovery. And a lot of people find it as a, um, what's another good word for therapeutic? experience cathartic empowering artists is what we do we didn't set out to empower artists necessarily i think we set out to empower ourselves and then uh the residual effect wore off on others and we're like whoa dude this is the thing maybe we can do and then we met up with cheryl and pushed pretty hard for about a year to get into you see you guys and uh, have some fun with you guys and that's what we're doing here and now we make videos and you guys watch them and this video What's the purpose of our video? I think the purpose of the video is to allow, when we meet up with you guys, allow enough time and space for you guys to showcase what you've done. What do you mean showcase what you've done? Because, like, we're going to say, we're going to give you guys a thing, uh, an assignment, should you choose to accept. And showcase, meaning when we have our Zoom class, you guys get to perform it in front of us and all the other cohorts. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, you don't have to participate unless it's mandated over there, but on our, on our end, we kind of want it to be up to you. We want it to be a thing that you want to do. So, um, well, I think she's getting something and he's gotten, that's Jack. <laughs> he sees himself, so he's real excited about it. So we were talking about, um, we were talking about the process of art and how a lot of people think that you're just supposed to be inspired and then you create some sort of artistic expression and put it on a wall. And we have found <laughs> as a uh, working artists that a lot of the time it's showing up and practicing you can touch this just don't push that anyways so showing up and practicing yeah showing up and what we've done with the podcast is we've shown up every sunday and sometimes we didn't want to and sometimes sarah was pregnant and sometimes she was what podcast oh. we have a podcast oh what's it called called on an slc oh right Pat. um so i know jack is distracting you guys but it's a good ex distraction i would imagine he's real cute um, so we just showed up, we just show up and make that podcast every Sunday. Sometimes we don't want to, and sometimes we don't feel very artistic, but what always happens, at least up until this point, is we create something and we share it with the world. Um, Sarah sometimes points out that art or a creation is only half done if it's never put out into the world for somebody to receive. And so we make art we create stuff to share with the world share with y'all and yep like that baby down there i made him and then i was like she made him look what i made anyway yeah so when we see you guys on friday it's your chance to show us and each other the thing that you made and usually when we have shows people say excuse me 
People say... Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not... My thing's not finished. It's not good enough. Any more time. Maybe I'll be in the next show. What's the theme for the next show? Mm. And I say, you, you got to just let it be incomplete. It's just not going to be done yet. Mm. And it's okay. Just, just share with us what you got. Art's never finished. The painting's only done when you stop painting. Whoa, that was profound. Uh, yeah, and another thing they say is they appreciate our back and forth, the chemistry Sarah and I have on stage. And so what we wanted to do was take those concepts and combine them today for you guys to work together as a team, uh, you know, uh, uh, to find some chemistry within your little cohort, if you guys are still in cohorts. Um, and what if they're not? Fuck, we didn't think that one through did we? Grab a pal? I don't know. I guess get, you could do it solo. Get a group we... of at least four people or more. Four people or more. And uh, so you're going to sit, you're going to grab a paper, you're going to grab a pen or a well, pencil what? or a marker or a hmm? paper. Paper. Not paper. That's what I meant. Um, you're going to sit down. And you're gonna, it's like a, what did you call it? An add-on. Add-on, so one person's gonna start. Maybe, you know, you figure that out. It's probably, you know, whatever. I know how it starts. How? Once upon a time, in the house of Odyssey, mm. then just tell the first right. thing so that pops into your head. That's the first line you write Once at the top. Once upon a time, in, in the Od house. In the house of Odyssey. of Odyssey. You could even say in... The house of downtown Odyssey, the house of Mill Creek Odyssey, Honesty, Odyssey, the house of um, light, Meadowbrook, Meadowbrook Odyssey, and the house of Lighthouse. I always get it confused with the Lifehouse, the band. So sometimes I say Lifehouse, but I know it's Lighthouse, right? <laughs> wait, I think it's wait. Lighthouse. We, every week we're like, wait, who is this? What house is this? What yeah. are we doing? Then we figured out relatively like we quick because we've been doing it about a year now. But uh, yeah, so sit down and then the the key, there's really no time limit. I mean, it shouldn't take you too long, but. Well, what we said was each person goes four times. So depending on the size of your at a time. group, that will decide how long it takes. So say it's me and Phil and baby Jack are in a group. We, I write, once upon a time, in the House of Odyssey, there were these pink cupcakes, and nobody knew where they came from, or wh if we were supposed to eat them, or what the frosting was made out of. So I handed one to Phil, and I said, try this. And he said... Okay, so oh, that works. No, there you go. And he said, I would gladly try this. It looks delicious, but why is there a button on top? Is that a edit up an edible button? And oh. then if Jack could write, he would write, "Yeah, it is edible because I ate it." <laughs> and, and then I would say, "Whatever I say." Yeah. Then you go around four times. Four times. Okay. Try, you know, keep it to a line ish. You know, if you just if you go off on some, I try not to go off on a tan a a, tan a, 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 a tangent. Try to keep Why? it to Why one go lane. Why not go off on a tangent? Because, well, you could. I mean, I'm just saying, like, try to keep it flowing. Don't hog it all, is what I'm saying. Oh, don't, don't be a hog at all. Yeah, don't, like, write a whole page. Yeah, so if you want to, if you go off on a tangent, cool, you know, just, just Make it one, a one-sentence tangent. Yeah, just try to understand there's other peeps getting involved. And that's the whole idea. Also, if you want to go longer than four rounds, you can. I mean, if mm -hmm. you're, like, having the best time of your life and you guys are creating a masterpiece, then just keep writing. That's cool. Yeah. So, very simply, get a group if you're not already in cohorts. Sit down at a table with a few pieces of paper mm -hmm. and writing utensils. First line, once upon a time in the house of Odyssey, da-da-da-da, and then pass it to your neighbor and then go around. Four and times. then when we see you guys on Friday, you can read it to us. Yeah, and read it in your in your own voices. So maybe you'll be constructed in a circle so that you can pass it around. I don't know. You'll figure it out. So read your own line. Each person reads want. their own line. Right. Um, 
Yeah. And is that all? I did we tell so. them what own it is? I mean, yeah, did a little we explain bit. it? Yeah, I mean, you know. So when you guys get out of there, there will be shows that you can come to mm -hmm. when when the world permits you to. I mean, everyone's got their different COVID rules, but we are going to keep having shows no matter what. So ownitslc.com, you can find out when and where our shows are. If you want to be in our show, you can be in our show. Also, if you guys are just like stoked about the stuff that you're writing and you want to ask a staff member there at Odyssey to record it, you can email it to us. We'll put it on our podcast. If you're doing some incredible art that you want to share, because like Phil said, we're about not only making of the art, but the sharing of it. You can send us pictures. we we'll put it on our website. Basically, anything that you guys create there at Odyssey House, if we can support you in sharing that, we want to do it because the world is more cool when there's art in it. Mm. That's it. So... Fair enough. That's what Own It is. It's a podcast. It's a website. It's a live show. It's uh, hopefully it's a little bit of a fire in a few people's bellies to create some stuff, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna keep doing it. And hopefully we'll keep seeing you guys. And um, yeah, and thanks for participating. That's a wrap. Yeah. Peace. Bye bye.